इस शहर को ये हुआ क्या कहीं राख है तो कहीं धुआं धुआं क्यों कोई कुछ नहीं बोलता चुपचाप धुएं को क्यों झेलता हो गई बर्दाश्त की अब इंतहा बुझे सिगरेट पीड़ी दिखे जलती जहां पब्लिक प्लेस पर सिगरेट पीना मना है उल्लंघन करने पर होगा जुर्माना धूम्रपान ना करें ना करने दें धूम्रपान पड़ेगा महंगा खुशी कौन नहीं चाहता लेकिन किस कीमत पर धूम्रपान महंगा पड़ता है धूम्रपान आपके लिए हानिकारक है और आपके चाहने वालों के लिए भी धूम्रपान पड़ेगा महंगा Land of Gods Himachal Pradesh is one of the most beautiful states in India nestling in the northwest region of western Himalayas Himachal Pradesh stands apart from its neighbors in terms of its sheer topographic diversity and divine natural beauty These mountains have been a home to many communities over time One of these are the Gaddi tribe also called the shepherds The Gaddi shepherds live away from their homes for months on mountains and greener pastures to take their sheep and goats for grazing. Mera naam Arjindra jo hai mere ghar ke sine mein aur hai. Char bhai na hai. Charo alag alag rehte hain. These shepherds only survive on goat's milk and bread made out of corn flour. I 
ਨਿਭਾਣਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੂਣ ਕਰਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੂਣ ਦੇ ਜੀ ਕੱਲ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਵੀੜਿਆ ਵੇ ਸੋਤ ਬੰਦੇ ਲਈ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਸੋਤ ਦੇ ਵੀ ਤੇਰੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਬੜੇ ਨਰਾਜ਼ ਬੰਦੇ ਜੀ ਅਗਰ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੋਈ ਪਰੰਪਰਾ ਬਣਾ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਜੀ ਕਲਕ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਦਾੜੀ ਨਾ ਬਣਾਇਆ ਸਕਦੇ ਗਾਲ ਮਾਲ ਨਾ ਕੱਢ ਸਕਦੇ ਗੁੱਠ ਨਾ ਬਗੈਰ ਜਨ ਕੇ ਬੈਟਰੀ ਬਾਥਰੂਮ ਕੋਈ ਨਾ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਗੁੱਠਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਰੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਅਤੇ ਰੋਟੀ ਜੇ ਨਾ ਸੋ ਦੋ ਟਾਈਮ ਪਕਣੀ ਰਿਆ ਬੇ ਘਰ ਜੋ ਗਾਣੇ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਲੂਣ ਖਰਚ ਵੀ ਲਈ ਨਾ ਲਾਣਾ ਜੋ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਵੀ ਲਈ ਨੇ ਦੇ ਯੂਜ਼ ਬੋਨ ਫਾਇਰਸ ਐਟ ਨਾਈਟ ਟੂ ਮੇਕ देयर ਫੂਡ and as they live in the forests away from civilization the fire keeps them safe from wild animals too pichle tere ko hai pa gun ne dada avdan ke bolna da jal dadi bol liya da koi ave trangdi pur da pura pa nu tan manu vich chau in the night after the shepherds have slept it is the duty of their dogs to keep a watch and protect the herd from wild animals they carry their own vessels from place to place the vessels are round shaped as it makes them easy to carry and gives them an advantage of mobility these vessels are made of iron and hard metals so that they remain durable for a long time The strongest goats are loaded with heavy blankets and other cargo so that the weight carried by the shepherds is not bulky. they visit their families only once every 3 months the whole journey from the mountains to their homes is done on foot as there are no transportation services or pakka roads jo tar ki jori jo mat chhede mere ya yaruwa जो तरक जोरी जो दिल पलंग घर वाले जो पता सुधे आए बेरो तेरे महीने बाद फिर नाम आज चांवर डेट दे रहे हैं हमारा बुने घर वाले लग रहे हैं तबे क्या पता पुजीन दाज का पुजीन दाज का पुजीन दाज का पता चलेंगे The wives of the shepherds often rejoice on their arrival they sing and dance once they hear their husbands are returning Rajinder's wife is waiting in anticipation. She knows that her husband will be returning today after 4 months of being away on the mountains.
बर्फ झड़ी लग नहीं तो फिक्र लग इं पानी दीना बराखा सुंद सोना हुके पछाणा वा सो फिक्र लग रहा बर्फ झड़ी कदर बना इन्ना गर्म बुंद आ रहे गलू चादरी बनाऊे बुंदे दस दिन तक बरखा लग रही फिक्रेलाक नाड़ा कुमरा जा महाराज जाने देवते इंदे कुल देवते सब की बुंदे चलो दे ग्रहण जाने दा सुख होदा ना आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग वॉक ऑफ 7 आवर्स राजेंद्र हैज फाइनली रीच्ड हिज डेस्टिनेशन ही इज होम His grandchildren are all happy to see him and touch his feet out of respect and seek his blessings. बाल बच्चा राजेंद्रेलिब्रेशन ऑफ देर बिलाविड फ्रेंड रिटर्निंग बाई जनवरी उन्नीस सौ पचानवे जो रिटायर बच गए रिटायर होने बाद दो साल कर रहे हैं After retiring from the army, Rajinder thought of continuing some work. He received many offers for employment, but when he noticed that his ancestral occupation of rearing sheep and goats is disappearing and not many youngsters are interested in this work, led him to follow his ancestral occupation.
He has also explained the importance of rearing sheep and goats and how it creates employment for many. We invite you to see for yourself how this whole process works and also how it creates employment for many. The sheep are reared for their wool. The process of removing wool from the sheep is done manually or by machines. The hilly areas where there is no source of electricity, manual labor is employed. This is done two to three times a year. The quantity of wool removed from one sheep varies from one and a half kilos to two kilos. The sheep too are happy with the removal of extra wool. They no longer feel bulky due to the weight of the wool. Also, the people employed in removing the wool are masters in their field, as they have been doing this for ages, and this is their only livelihood. The wool is packed differently according to their colors in woolen bags and carried down the mountains for further processing. The first step after removal of the wool is cleaning the wool and softening it. Earlier it was done manually. The manual work was replaced by the use of two brushes that combed through the wool and softened it for further process. Now, due to much advancement, the softening of wool is done by hydro-powered machinery. The people now prefer these machines to manual labor as it saves time and the product is error-free. The wool is now ready to be spun into yarn. The wool is spun into yarn using a spinning wheel or a charkha. While spinning, the yarn is separated into two types, the weak and the strong yarn. While spinning the yarn, the ladies also freely speak their mind and invent new songs in the whole process. Strong yarns are spun together manually to make it stronger.
To increase the durability of the yarn, it is further spun using top world drop spindles. The yarn is now durable and strong enough to use for any purpose. The wooden logs are used to determine the length and the breadth of the product that is to be made. It is used as a framework to making a product. The yarn is removed from the logs and then joined to the handloom. The products are made using these handlooms. The weaker yarn is simultaneously put in tubes called shuttles to be used in hand looms. The weaving of the yarn begins at the hand loom. The warp threads in the shuttle pass alternatively through a heddle and through a space between the heddles so that raising the shaft raises half the threads those passing through the heddles and lowering the shaft lowers the same threads. The threads passing through the spaces between the heddles remain in place. Every person employed in this process possess expertise in their respective field. The finished product is now a thickly woven woolen cloth. The cloth is then soaked in hot water to remove the impurities. This process makes the cloth waterproof. Hot water shrinks the cloth and the woolen cloth becomes stronger and durable. It can be used when it snows as well in the rains too. It is then pulled to get rid of the wrinkles. And kept in the sun to dry. The cloth is now ready to use.
ਤੇ ਕਰੜੋ ਇਹ ਦੋਈ ਪੱਟੀ ਦੇ ਵਾਰ ਵਾਰ ਹੱਥ ਪੱਟੀ ਇਹ ਹਲੇ ਮੰਨਣੇ ਜੋ ਇਹ ਮੰਨਦੀ ਕਰੀ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਇਹ ਪੱਟੀ ਜੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੇਰੀ ਕਰੀ ਇਹ ਸਾਬ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਲਾਇ ਕਰ ਦੇਣੀ ਇਹ ਸਾਬ ਇਸ ਲਾਇ ਕਰ ਦੇਣੇ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਸੋਨੇ ਜੋੜਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋ ਇਹ ਚੋਲ ਅੱਛਾ ਪੱਟੋ ਬਣਾਏ ਕਰੇ ਤੇ ਦਰਜੀ ਤੋਂ ਅਸਾਇ ਕਰੇ ਚੋਲ ਇਹ ਦਾਕਾ ਇਹ ਬਣਨੇ ਡੋਰ ਕਾਲ ਯੁੰਨੀ ਦਾ ਜੋੜ ਸਾਰ ਬਣਾ ਉਹਦਾ ਇਹ ਚੋਲ ਡੋਰ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਦਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਕਲਚਰ ਵਾਲੇ ਦਾ ਨਸ਼ਤੇ ਲੰਦੇ ਜੀ ਜੀ ਸਭ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਛੱਡੀ ਬੈਠ ਕੋਟ ਲਾਗੇ ਲਾਣਾ ਤੇ ਆਵੇ ਯੁੰਨੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਹੋਈ ਥੇ ਉਹਦੀ ਯਾਤਰਾ ਜਨਾਤਰਾ ਜੋ ਕੋਈ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨ ਹੋਆ the chola is the traditional attire of the gaddi tribe this is made out of white patti using a white yarn it is only made out of hand wearing a chola is an honor to anyone who belongs to the gaddi tribe during social functions and fairs every male in the house dresses up in a chola and tie a black rope around their waist called the dora The whole attire is incomplete without a turban on their head. The male members of the tribe come together in cultural fairs and functions to perform a regional dance also known as the Gaddi folk dance. Many have modified the traditional chola and have made it more colorful and vibrant. The new Gaddi generation have moved out and embraced new professions, but some people are still continuing the legacy of their forefathers by their own choice. Removing wool from the sheep benefits the sheep and saves it from the heat and also this wool protects the people from the harsh cold weather to everyone who rears sheep and goats for a living it's a humble request that you do not consider this as an ordinary or backward job and also promote this further as wool is very important for all humans The manufacturing of woolen cloth is done in our country itself and the quality is much better than the wool imported from other countries. We request our government to provide all shepherd communities with quality facilities so that the legacy of their ancestors does not vanish. We thank Mr Rajinder and respect his decision of associating himself to his ancestral occupation of rearing sheep and goats. Jai Hind.